Yeah, so just to set the tone, we're talking about a 17-year-old girl who had that incident with uh, with Bishop Makamu. So this is a, a photo of the 17-year-old. This is back uh, when she was in school, as a high school student, uh, just before she started working at the church. She was a receptionist and an admin person. Uh, that was where she had, and you had the conversation. So I'm not going to say much because everything is in the audio. I'm going to play the audio for you uh, just so you can follow. I'm going to play it start to finish. It's a little over 20 minutes. So we're just going to do 20 minutes of listening, isn't it? Uh, and one of the things you're going to hear her say is you're going to hear her say quite a bit about this couple. This is Bishop Makamu and his wife, uh, who she also mentioned. Again, after this audio, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the incident from her father's perspective, her dad, who was there. You know, it's always a beautiful thing to come from a home where there is a dad. You know, because sometimes when a girl child is in trouble uh, with another adult, she wouldn't know where to run to. You know, but when there's a father figure or a father in the house, then she can run there and the father would stand. You know, we are men, we stand and try to find out what really happened and we follow up. You know, one of the things that was said about Pastor Timothy Omotosho, who is an Nigerian pastor who in South Africa here, who has been in jail for over three years now, awaiting trial for different uh, stuff that he did to young girls. You know, has a house of just young girls in the name of teaching them music. Uh, is he target girls that are from single parent house and just with their mother. Because they know at the end of the day, you know, you can get away with it, you know. So that's what it is. Uh, that's what it is. And we're going to see uh, quite a lot of that. Uh, and also uh, talk about it. So I would go straight up and uh, play the audio. I would really encourage you to please listen attentively. I would really encourage you to listen attentively. It's a long, it's going to be a long audio, but please do listen attentively. Yes. And I must commend you for that. Um, no, it's okay. Not a lot of... Oh. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You are a very brave Hello? young woman. You are a very brave young woman. Well, it's okay. And uh, you stand for the truth. Yes. And I must commend you for that. Um, no, it's okay. Not a lot of young people would want to say, look, leaders need to behave in certain ways, especially church leaders. We expect them to behave in certain ways. And yes. if they are not, we have to bring attention to it. You know? Yes. Yeah. But thanks so much for reaching out. I saw your screenshot. Just tell me a little bit of how uh, it happened. Oh, I was I was staying at Eden Park. Okay. And I was renting the room. I was sharing with my roommate Tindile. Then he called. I was so shocked. You even know, like when a bishop calls, you get nervous and scared, right? Yeah. So he called. Then and told me to come at the Eden Park and Togoza robots to fetch the keys for office park. I went there. I was even running because I was scared. Oh, what if Bishop would go and and shout me? Then I went there. Then I stand on the other side of his driver driving side. Okay. Then I said to him, no, Bishop, get rid of key. Then I see, get on the car. 
I must get inside the car. He told you to get and inside the car. Drop. Yes, okay. he will drop me at my place because it was late, around 7, 8 okay. o'clock. Which day of the week was that? Then, sir? Which day of the week was that? Is it on weekends? No, it was not on weekends. It was during the week. Okay. I think Monday, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, oh, it was Friday. Okay. Friday. Then... Well, while I was telling him to get in my street, he said, no, he started talking, saying he loves me. I was like, no, how do you love me? Because you're old. And me, I take as, as, I take you as my father, not the other way around. And what, was, what, was, your, no, what, was, what was your job at the church? I was doing a receptionist at me and call center praying for people okay so you told him yes. no that he don't love him sir you told him no when he said he loved you you said no yes i told him no you okay. can't because i take you as my father and his wife was pregnant by that time okay by the last point then was be saying no when i get to the office i only feel you at the call center i was like how do you feel me how 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 could that happen and he said no i feel you and i love you i thought maybe he's drunk or something then he went with me to church does he drink that same day, does he went drink? to the church sir does he drink have you ever seen him drinking Sir? Does he drink alcohol? Yeah, I thought maybe he drank alcohol. That's why he's saying stupid things. Okay. We went to the church. When we get to the church, I was never so Why are we doing? What are we doing at church so late? Luckily, the security auntie. Yes. He was my friend. I like. He was the in. So he opened the gate. And uh, Andile came and asked how Bishop was so late to attend. Then I took my phone and lighted it so that Andile could see me if anything wrong happens to me. Okay. Then he said, he was like, no, this stupid is here. Then we went to the office park and said I should get into the office park. I get and he tried to kiss me. I pushed him. Then I said I want to go home. I I I ran and go home. Then the next day the office park is, is that your office, the church office. Yes. That's he where started you, at church, church office. And also the church is there. Yes. And that was also, that's also it's, where you have the call center. That's where you work. Yes. Okay. Then I ran home. I got home. I was so traumatized. I couldn't even sleep. Even my roommate saw it. He but, was, she now, was asking, now, what's now, wrong? What's wrong? Now take me back before you run. What happened? How did he do it? He was hugging and trying to kiss me. I pushed him. I pushed him. Then I ran out by steps. Then I get home. I got home. Okay. And when you pushed him, what did he? What did he do? Did he apologize? Did he apologize or say anything that? No, he did. No, he did not apologize. Who was in the office at that time? It was Ayanda at the receptionist. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then when I get home at the room, my roommate asked, "What? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you like this?" I was no. I was like no. Then he ke she keeps on asking. I told her no. This is what happened. Happened. He said. She said no. If this happens again or calls you should do him a recording or do a video okay 
Then the next day I went work to work. He was not at work. Then he called and said, uh, "It was I. It was Friday, right? When it started to happen. Then yes, on Friday. Sunday I went to work. Yes, yeah, Sunday I went to work. Then late on Sunday, he called. So that telephone conversation then, happened late on a Sunday. No, it happens on Monday. That one. Okay. So then he, on he, Tuesday. Okay. On no, Tuesday continue. I left. He said he called you on Sunday. And what happened? Yes. He said he really loves me and he wants to sleep with me. I was like, no. Then he said, okay, on Sunday. Then I said, okay, Sunday. Then on Monday, when he calls again, he made sure that my roommate, my roommate was waiting for him too. He made sure that my roommate sleep at Mpumalang. Okay. Yes. Then he called asking, who are you with? There, I'm at, I'm dropping Siabong. Siabong, I was staying on the other street of by my. Okay. Then I was like, no, I'm alone. By that time, my lens, landlord was there. Then my landlord said, no, if she, he comes here, don't worry, we will burn him with boiled water. I said, okay, it's okay. Then I told him that I am alone. Then he said, I, you are kidding. Then I said, yes, I'm alone. Then he did not come. Then I said, no. Then he, that's where he started to say, I will, when will I give him a biscuit? Then I said, oh, you said on Sunday, right? Mm. Yes. Then on Tuesday, my roommate came back in the morning and asked, oh, are you going to work? And I was like, no, I'm not going. <laughs> then she asked, why are you not going to the work? I was, no, I'm sick. I said, I said, yeah, I'm sick. Then when my roommate left, I just packed my things and go home. Mm. Then after that, he calls, calls. I did not pick up his calls. Then during the week, me and my father, we went there. And my my father confronted him. He denied it. He said to me, I, I was faking the record. It was not him. So he had, den he had denied that this recording is not him. Yes. But now he is then accepted later, that the recording is him. Yes. Then later he called my father that he, he wants to give my father a one million. My father denied he was, no, I can't sell my my daughter. That won't happen. Then we went to ANC members and elders. Then ANC leadership said they will go and tell him and investigate. When was that? Which year was that? On the same year, 2017. I, this thing kept on being quiet silently. So the ANC didn't do anything yes. about it? Yes. Until the radio do it, do it. So the ANC refused to do anything about it and refused to... Yes. They said they are going to do something to about it, but they never did. Yes. They never did nothing. And he then promised he, he wanted wife, to he wanted to bribe your father to give him money so he the case would yes. go away. One million. Yes. Then his wife came with two pastors, women's pastors. They asked they told my mother that they want to to, uh, to give damage money to fix this. Then my mother denied it no. How could you be? I it. And you were 17 years of age then? Yes, I was 17. You just finished matric. That was, so you, you yeah. now pack your bags and left. So you left the job. You just left the job because he was sexually, you know, harassing you. Yes, I, was, I just left the job because I was even scared that what if something happens to me 
while I'm eating in park or send or if when I keep on denying him, then he send his bodyguards and do something bad on me. Mm. Yes. Mm. So his wife is also involved. She came with uh, leaders from the church and they spoke to your mother. Yes. Yes. What? And when they came, first time when they came, his wife, his wife was in the car. Then this lady came in and said, he's the part of society for my mother's uh, rural society. Mm. Then my cousin followed her to the car and said, no, you, you are the Makamu's wife. Then that's where she get into the, in the house and talk. No, I wanted to. Mm, post, post mother and poor and talk about this issue and solve it and this is not the first time to happen there's this girl it happens to her but then she's he slept with her then they gave that girl the mind for the damage mm. then my by that time my mom mom and i we were not at home then he came uh, again the next day, I was at home. I was not at home. They found my mother, and she said she wants to take a damage mine for for me. How much were they offered? Did they offer any money? She just said a man to clean to to clean the the darkness that they bring mm. and damage. So just to be clear, Makuma well, Makamu. He offered your dad money, yes. and the wife yes. and other women offered came, money. offered money, but your parents didn't accept yes. any of the money. Yes, okay. they did not. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then uh, he he sent some bodyguards here at my home, and I was not around home because I had rumors that he's looking for me. Then he sent rumors in those two men, Banjwa. When my cousin described them, it was Mr. Banjwa and Mr. Kuzwai. Yeah. I know them. Then he, they came and looked, and they, they said they, they are looking for the room. My cousin said, no, there is no room. The room there is a room at the next door. You can go there. Here there is no room. Then they went out. My cousin followed them. They get into the car. They did not go to the next door. They were wearing Makamu's t-shirts, the blue ones, powder blue ones. Mm. Now, let's go back to the night that he tried to, he sexually harass you, not try to, in that office. Yes. As a 17-year-old, Girl, how did you feel? Somebody like that who is a bishop. I was so very disappointed and scared by that time. I was even shaking. Mm. Yes. Because he even said, no, I see you are scared. Don't be scared. And he wanted you to be his girlfriend or he just wanted to have a... Uh, or just to be his biscuit? I think he wanted to take the biscuit on because he even he even asked me that I have a boyfriend. By that time, I was not into boyfriends. Or I did not have a boyfriend. Mm. I said, no. He asked, are you still a virgin? I said, yes, because I, I, I took him as my dad. Mm. You respected yes. him. You saw him as your dad. And you and, yes. and, 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 and you were a virgin. Yes, I was a virgin by 17. Mm. Yes. Now, people are beginning to say, I mean, obviously, you are a virgin, so you never knew any man. And because some people are saying, no, um, you know, you were just a 17 year old, not, not, not a girl, and all that, which is not it. It shows that you were brought up uh, in a good home and you wanted to really yes. serve God and, yes. and you respected Him. When that happened, yes. 
what happened to your respect for him as a bishop when he did that to you sir what happened to your respect for him as a bishop after he did that to you Yo, for him the respect for him it all went like you i took him as a rubbish right now like i never after that i never respected him mm. i never took him as like a father before mm. 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 <laughs> Mm. I see. And when he offered your dad one million rand, mm. what exactly did your dad say to him? He said, yeah, I will what, never what, sell my how, daughter. Wait, how did he come to your dad? Tell me what he said when he spoke to your dad about that and what your dad said. He said to my dad, uh, he called my dad and told him that, okay, I will offer one million. My dad said, no, I don't want, want your money and I won't sell my daughter to you. Mm. Yes. And your dad then had... to, to, to... yeah go ahead then they stop they stop they stop follow, following me after my dad called him and told him if anything happens to him or any anything happens to him even he if he can get robbed mm. he will be in charge then they stop to follow me mm. 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 And when you and your dad went to meet him after you told your dad, where did yes. you where did you meet him? At office at at his office. Okay. They even took long to call him. Uh, Rafilwe, his PA. Yeah. She even took long to call him because he she knew what I was there for, and he told him that. I am with my dad. Mm. We stayed there almost two hours Before waiting for him. him and he was and he was at the office. And when he came and your dad confronted him with the issue, how did he deny it? Yes. He just said, no, 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 this daughter faked, faked this and, and I did not mean that way. Many stories different. Mm. But the, yes. but the audio was there. He denied the audio that yes, because when we get there, my daughter, my father told him that you do you did this to my daughter. Then he denied. No, no, no. I was I did not do nothing. Then we played the audio. Mm. He said I fake it. Mm. Mm. How would you say his wife? So you think he's, from what you experienced, his wife and the other woman come into your house to try to give your mother money. Uh, mm. It shows that the wife is protecting him. Is that what you think? Yeah, I feel like he, he's, she's protecting him and she's with him on this thing. Mm. Mm. So what would you want to see from this issue? Yeah, I really don't know, but I don't want his man because he thinks that I want his man, but then I was I don't mm. he must do the right thing and and do the right thing because you never know if if what if it's not me alone? There are some other girls who can't speak for themselves, who, who don't have evidence to say it, but they are abused by him. Mm. Yes. Do you think he should continue to be a pastor, a bishop? I know, I don't think so, because I, 
I don't see him doing right things. Do you think he should continue to present a TV program about morality on Mojalov? No. Mm. Mm. So you are 21 now. What do you do? Sir? We, you, you are 21 years old now, right? Yes. Yeah, what do you do? do you, are you in school or you are working? I'm not in school. I'm just sitting at home. Mm. Not working, not in school, yes. Mm. Have, have you received any sort of counseling after that happened to you? No. You've never spoken to the ANC that you took this case to, they didn't give you counseling or organize professional counselors for you? No, they did not. Mm. So we have to organize counselors for you. Yes, it's fine. It's okay. Mm. Mm. You called the brother to say, well, this is the full audio I just played for you. Well, it's not left for you to decide what you think about it. Uh, a lot of you guys are asking questions. Uh, but this is just a short conversation of just about, what, 25 minutes? And there's still more that they have to say. So make sure you don't draw your conclusion from here. Also, maybe you need to draw your conclusion when you listen to uh, Makamo. You know, when you listen to Bishop Makamo, then maybe you can draw your conclusion. Well, you heard her, what she said. <laughs> 